How can the teachings of Mary Magdalene from the Gospel of Mary illuminate your path to spiritual freedom? Many of us feel bound by the material world, struggling to find deeper meaning. But what if the Gospel of Mary could offer insights to transcend those limitations and unlock true spiritual liberation? The Gospel of Mary reveals powerful Gnostic insights into the soul's journey, the Demiurge's role in our world, and the challenges posed by the Archons. These ancient teachings can guide you toward a deeper understanding of the divine and lead you to the ultimate truth, your inner light. What if the answers to life's greatest spiritual challenges were already within you? The Gospel of Mary emphasizes the importance of gnosis, intuitive, direct knowledge of the divine. But how does this ancient text guide us through the illusions of the material world? And how do the Demiurge and Archons play a role in our journey? Today, we'll explore these questions and how they connect to the core message of intuitive Gnosticism. Heavenly Father, we come before you in search of deeper understanding. Open our minds and hearts to the wisdom found in the teachings of Mary Magdalene. May her words inspire us to seek the light within and lead us closer to you. Amen. The Gospel of Mary The Gospel of Mary is a text that presents teachings attributed to Mary Magdalene, focusing on the soul's journey, spiritual knowledge, and the transcendence of the material world. This paraphrase aligns with intuitive Gnosticism, emphasizing the importance of Gnosis and the roles of the Demiurge, Yahweh, and the Archons as part of the soul's spiritual journey. The text begins with Mary Magdalene sharing the teachings she received from Jesus with the other disciples. These teachings focus on the importance of inner knowledge and the path to spiritual liberation. Mary explains that true understanding comes from within and that the journey to enlightenment involves overcoming the illusions of the material world. Mary tells the disciples, do not let the material world deceive you. The truth lies within, in the depths of your soul. Seek the light that is within you, for it is through this light that you will find the way back to the divine source. Mary discusses the role of the Demiurge, Yahweh, who created the material world and governs it with a sense of justice and order. While Yahweh believed himself to be the supreme creator, his creation is not separate from the divine plan. The material world serves as a place for souls to grow and learn, providing the necessary conditions for spiritual development. Mary explains that Yahweh's actions, though sometimes harsh, are part of the cosmic order. His role is to maintain the structure of the material realm, creating the challenges that souls must overcome on their journey to enlightenment. Mary also speaks about the Archons, powerful beings created by Yahweh to govern various aspects of the material world. These Archons present obstacles that test the soul's resolve and push it towards spiritual awakening. While the Archons are often seen as oppressors, they are, in fact, necessary agents of the divine plan. The Archons, Mary says, are not to be feared but understood. Their challenges are opportunities for growth, for it is through overcoming these challenges that the soul awakens to its true nature and moves closer to the divine. Mary shares a vision of the soul's ascent through the various levels of the cosmos. As the soul ascends, it must confront and overcome the Archons who guard each level. The soul's success in these encounters depends on its knowledge, gnosis, of its divine origin and its recognition of the light within. The soul must transcend the material world, shedding the illusions that bind it to physical existence. As it ascends, the soul becomes more aware of its connection to the true God and moves closer to the pleroma, the realm of divine fullness. Mary emphasizes that gnosis, direct, intuitive knowledge of the divine, is the key to spiritual liberation. By recognizing the divine spark within and understanding the roles of Yahweh and the Archons, individuals can overcome the limitations of the material world and achieve enlightenment. Gnosis is the light that dispels the darkness of ignorance, Mary teaches. It is through this knowledge that the soul is freed from the bonds of the material world and is able to return to the Pleroma, where it will be united with the Divine Source. The text concludes with Mary encouraging the disciples to seek the light within and to embrace the journey of spiritual awakening. She reassures them that all souls have the potential to return to the Pleroma, where they will experience unity with the true God. The journey is not easy, Mary says, but it is the path to true freedom. 
By seeking the light within and overcoming the challenges of the material world, you will find your way back to the divine source, where eternal peace and joy await. What have we learned today? The Gospel of Mary offers a profound understanding of the soul's journey and the spiritual challenges we must overcome. By recognizing the roles of the Demiurge and Archons, we can transcend the material world and return to the Divine Source. If this exploration of the Gospel of Mary resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to continue uncovering more spiritual wisdom with us. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wisdom of Mary Magdalene and her teachings. Guide us as we seek to understand the truths of the soul's journey. May we embrace the light within and continue our path toward you. In Jesus' name, amen.